Hi, in this video I will show you how to add and capture an image with the scale bar in the InFocus software. Here we have a live image shown, and if we want to add a scale bar we go to Setup, Video Overlay, and here you can see that we can show our scale bar. We can also define if we want to show the magnification of the image capture as well. We can set things like the size of the scale bar and the color. We can also assign the position and adjust additional settings about that scale bar here. Here we can also show that we can show the date and time in a couple different formats. We can also show the clarity factor, which is going to help you find your best focal plane. We also have the option to show a marker, which can be a cross line, reticle, uh, rectangle, uh, and a few other options here. Again, in this case, we're just going to show you a scale bar. So by clicking scale bar and hitting show, we click apply, and now we see our scale bar in the bottom right hand corner. Now it's important to note that the measurements, the units of measurement shown are going to be the units that are displayed here in our measurement uh, unit display. So if we wanted to switch that to microns, we simply switch that to microns here, and you see that our scale bar interactively changes. We can also adjust our magnification. So if we select the magnification to a different one, you see that the scale bar automatically changes as well. Now important disclaimer, the units of measurement shown are going to be whatever units you picked when you calibrated the software. So if you calibrated the software and you said you were wanted to calibrate it in millimeters, that's why we're showing in millimeters. But again, to change that, we can simply select microns and it changes that. Here then, when we click snap, we see that the scale bar is then burned into our image. We can't move that or manipulate it. And then simply by saving this, we then have our image saved with our scale bar burned in. If we wanted to again go back to live and just to show you what else we can do with the date and time, as well as the clarity factor. We can show this as well, maybe put that black. And here again, the clarity factor is going to find our best focal plane. So as I defocus, you see that number gets lower. And as I go back towards that focus, it actually gets to a higher value. And the highest value you can find is where it perceives to be the best focus. Now again, if we wanted to capture that, that does get embedded into the image as well. So you know that you need to understand that by capturing the image with all of this shown, whatever you capture it with does show you uh, does show up in the captured image. Again, set up video overlay. We can uncheck some of these options as well. And then again, we just have our scale bar. Thanks for watching. For any questions, give us a call 215-925-2285. Thank you.